Hey friends, good morning. Uh, today we are going to see how to install a Windows Nano server. So this is something new in Windows 2016. So we'll do a brief about what Nano server is and uh, we'll take it from there. So basically Windows 2012 is a nano server. Nano server is a lightweight compact uh, uh, version of Windows Server 2006 that has uh, So Nano server is a lightweight uh, compact version of Windows Server 2006 that has a significantly reduced footprint compared with uh, server core or GUI version of Windows Server. So it's basically uh, you can run this server in your uh, you know 10 year old uh, desktop system and uh, the server will boot just fine. It's a very small uh, uh, almost like uh, 500 MB I can say something like that and uh, it can run very easily on any anything. The key benefits of the nano server is that uh, it reduces the footprints and allows for greater density of virtual machines running on a physical server. So if you have a physical server where you earlier you will be running like uh, four or five uh, machines, you can run close to 10 to four, uh, 15 machines, we can say. To achieve the reduced footprint of nano server, Microsoft has removed 32-bit compatibility. So 32-bit compatibility will not work uh, if the application is uh, required. Remote desktop is not available. So you can't RDP. And Microsoft Installer Service, MSI, support is removed. So you have to have the VHD files to do installation. Also a full support of .NET Framework. So .NET Framework is also not supported. So yeah, there are quite a bit of limitations uh, with the Nano server. But uh, if you do need a .NET, uh, if your application doesn't need a .NET or uh, RDP or 32-bit uh, compatibility, then yeah, Nano server is a better choice. Additionally, Nano servers requires a remote administration. Uh, either using a standard uh, remote server administration tool or using PowerShell remote or you can also use system center so there are two steps in order to create a nano server the first is uh, we have to convert uh, the Vim image into VHD image and the next step is uh, using that VHD image uh, we will create a uh, New nano server. So let me start by showing you the where the files are, uh, the source files are. So it's in C uh, source files. So you need to download the nano server source files and uh, go into nano server. So this is the Vim I got downloaded a nano server. Uh, dot vim and uh, these are a couple of uh, scripts that are available with it which will convert this vim into vhd file okay so first you will run this uh, new nano server image dot ps1 to set the environment variables of the powershell so let me open the powershell First, we will uh, go to the source directory. Let us see source files in our server. Uh, now I will 
will set the variables using the script uh, new nano server image dot ps1 so now we have done that uh, the next step is we'll use this uh, new nano server image command to convert uh, the nano server image into a VHD file so we have to give some options where is the media located the media is in the C source files and uh, which is the base path the base path uh, where I want the you know the nano uh, VHD base path and which is the target path where I want the new uh, VHD uh, you know image VHD to be created and stored from the base VHD the base V so the WIM file will be here the base VHD will be here and our uh, custom VHD that we create with uh, for this server will be in this target location CVM store nano one and we, we have to give a couple of options uh, hyphen storage hyphen clustering hyphen guest drives hyphen computer name here you will give what the server name that you want uh, for the for this server and hyphen domain name you have to give your domain name of your domain and uh, hyphen enable display enable IP display on boot and uh, you give the work browse it will start logging the logs so then if there are any issues you can see what's happening uh, with the logs so I will run this uh, command uh, to build a nano server so let me the source file copy the command so I'm just copy pasting whatever command uh, we did there can see I've enabled the same the domain name the computer name new nano server image media path where is it base path where is it target path where is it hyphen storage hyphen clustering hyphen guest drives the computer name the domain name everything is given I'm going to hit enter so it will ask for your admin password uh, since uh, we are creating this I will give the password click OK so I already have an image uh, on the target path so I just need to Go there and delete it. I'm 
just going to change the color computer name to be nano 2 The star should be fine. Okay, let's give it a try again. See what happens. Okay, so this time it's copying the image, mounting the image, adding the packages that we asked for storage package, cluster package, then the guest drives will be added next, guest package. Then the language packages are also added for those packages. Okay, that's it. It's pretty easy. Now the image should be created. You can see the image is created. Just 500 MB. So it's pretty cool, small server. Okay, so now we have created the image that we want. Now uh, we add it to the switch and, uh, you know, and create the first virtual machine. So the command we use is new hyphen VM. So what we first created is just the image, okay? So this is how you actually create the VM from the image. So new hyphen VM minus name, the server name. So here it will be nano2 since where is the nano2 image located? From here. And generation is one because it's a new server and you have to give to switch name uh, on which switch uh, you want to connect this server let's go back just copy this so it's easy for me Start. So it's new VM, the name is nano2, where is the VAT file, it's in C, VM store, nano2.vht, I have the switch name. I didn't uh, my nano new VM is created successfully. So now uh, let's uh, start the VM. You can say the state of the VM is off and it's operating uh, so it's operating normally. To start the VM, uh, you need to type the command start VM server name. So starting my virtual name. Okay. 
okay so it says uh, it's already started so start vm nano 2 the next is we have to connect it uh, to this uh, vm using the uh, vm connect so i'm going to use the vm connect So now it's connecting to the nano server. So this is how the screen. So it's not a pretty cool screen. If you are from Windows background, especially. So now you enter the username and password. You have to use the tab key to move to the next uh, this one. That's it. So now you are logged in. And you can see the name of the server, which domain is connected to the OS version, the Ethernet uh, IP address, the networking tab. I hope it's been useful for you and uh, thank you for watching.